I'm mixing, I don't want to be opening plugins, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be opening plugins to see if my compressor is reducing too much or gain reduction too much. And Geek Performer doesn't have a gain reduction meter, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yet. Yet. So <laughs> what I ended up was using the meters, the usual meters you have, mm -hmm. to display gain reduction. Okay, what did you do? So essentially, if you have a sound and you duplicate it, right, you have a, a copy of the sound. Mm -hmm. If you flip the polarity of one source, so I mean the wave, the waveform is essentially inverted. What you have is silence, right? Right. So if you change the volume of one of the of one of the cop of what the each of the sound of the copy, what what you get in results is the difference between the levels of of the two. Ah. Uh, okay. So if I have a sound that's being compressed and the other sound is not compressed, and I send it to a meter, the resulting movement is the difference between the two sources. So the, the meter is actually showing me the amount of gain reduction. Wow. And that's what I have here. So this is the amount of... Oh, as I make, calibrate. Isn't it clever? 